uh, it, it's really easy to get back to a point of your program if you have a fault. So say we were cutting out this, uh, the E, and we had a, a, a fault in the program. It, we lost air pressure. Something happened and it stopped the cut and didn't cut totally through this E. It's really easy to get, to get back there. Uh, if you hover above this button right here, you see it says jump to line, uh, right above your G code. Uh, you click there, and all you got to do is just come up here click on the line of code or the, the line where you want to start, it's going to bring up the G code of your uh, program. You'll see down where your run button normally is, you have this green arrow that says execute jump to line. Um, I'll click there. It's going to ask you if it's safe to move the machine. Make sure you don't have any parts kicked up. Uh, make sure your torch isn't sitting too low because you don't want to crash it. Because uh, as soon as you click yes, it's going to move to that point. So once it gets back to that point, um, all you got to do is just click the uh, green arrow and it'll start your run uh, from uh, where you need it to. If uh, it, it's only going to jump to line to the start or end point of a line, uh, if you need to get to the middle, uh, you could either click this button, dry run, and uh, run it and stop it when it gets to the middle of a part, or you can run the program uh, we'll take it off dry run. You could run the program in reverse as well and try and stop it at the middle of the line uh, and then just click play to take off from that point. So there, there shouldn't ever be a reason to scrap out a part. There should, there's, there's always a way to get back and cut the part, uh, realign your plate and get back to where you were.